Okay, I'd like to talk about uh, the evolution of the Earth and of humanity. Uh, the two go together, they're, they're inseparable. We're, our evolution is tied up from start to finish with that, that of the Earth. Um, the Earth evolves through cosmic eras, um, known as rounds, of which in the current evolutionary cycle there are seven, and these are divided up into shorter, although um, space-time doesn't really apply here, but shorter cosmic eras uh, known as globes. Now, at the present time, we're on the most material globe in the cycle. As the, the Earth descends through the planes of nature to the most material globe, which is where we are now, um, and then uh, ascends back to the least material. Um, ultimately, there will be seven rounds. Well, we're on the, um, the the fourth round, so we're halfway through, and we're on the we refer to it as globe D, but we're on the fourth globe. So um, we're just on just past the halfway point at present. We're just starting to ascend out of materiality and it's a long process. Now, humanity evolves during the rounds and globes through mass reincarnations uh, known as root races, and there are subdivisions within root races, but um, basically there are seven mass reincarnations in each globe. In um, the current cosmic era, current globe, uh, we are the fifth mass reincarnation of humanity, um, we're less material than the fourth, which we refer to as the Atlantean, uh, but there will be um, two more to come, which will be less material. Uh, again, we're talking quite long periods of time here. Uh, now, in each phase of evolution, um, we have something to develop and learn. And I hope that um, gives a, a rough outline, but I must emphasize a full understanding of the subject does require um, fairly detailed and serious study.